going on everybody it's your boy cash coming at you with another reaction video this time we reacting to something different we reacting to something something different as in it's not music at all we're reacting to a fact video a fact you know a fact so specifically we're reacting to top 25 amazing facts about kosovo Bam. That's what we're reacting to. I want to see this off the rip. I prefer the title to say Top 25 Facts About Kosovo or Kosovo. But to each his own. That's how they want to make this video. Without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Top 25 Amazing Facts About Kosovo. Kosovo, officially the Republic of Kosovo, is a landlocked country in the Central Balkan Peninsula. It declared its independence from Serbia in February 2008 and became the Republic of Kosovo. That's a fact, uh, 08, February, independent. Big, big news, that's, that's a big power move if you think about it. Yeah, that was only 12 years ago. Going on, about to be 13, but wow. You understand, like, a lot of people had independence for a long time. Some people still don't have independence, but it's, it's pretty, it's still fresh, 12 years. So think of, the, think of that into perspective. Uh, when you just, when you're looking from outside to inside, like, you might live in a country that's, you know, independent, been independent before you was born. Everything some people had to live through. The reality, you understand? So, yeah, uh, that's a fact. <laughs> it has an area of. But if you want to, if you want to go deeper though, Kosov, Albania, one. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Dardania. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. You got a lot in my head. And I'm making a video. <laughs> but uh sorry for the interruption, y'all. But let's get back to it. It says it has an area of ten thousand eight hundred eighty seven square km. Ten thousand eight hundred eighty seven square km. The country's capital city is Pristina. <laughs> Pristina. 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 Uh I would love to I would love to um to go, I gotta visit, man. I gotta, I gotta touch down, pristine. Uh, I got to. My family has a nice little place there. Gotta touch down, though, for real. It's long overdue. It's been some years. Its official languages are Albanian and Serbian. Man, Albania. Euro is its official currency. It has four bordering countries that include Albania, Macedonia, Montenegro. Uh, okay, Albania, Macedonia, Montenegro, and Serbia. Okay. Right, right, right. Yep. Montenegro and Serbia. With these facts about Kosovo, let us learn more about the history, economy, people, culture, and geography of this beautiful Balkan country. Let's learn more. One, Kosovo was ruled by the Ottoman Empire. Yes, the Ottoman Empire. Uh, and when I when I when I speak, um, because you know, some emotions might be flared, some tempers might be flared, but I'm, but I'm speaking for me, you know, from, from my worldly view. You know, when you when you uh. I'm gonna say this like this: When you born, are you raised, especially in uh in America or uh, even other countries in Europe? I, I bet around the world, you really don't get taught too much about certain countries. Like in America, you just learn about when you learn about Europe, you learn about like Britain and. Like UK like type stuff like you really learn about like where the Englishmen came from. 
Like you really don't learn about like uh, other parts of Europe like that. So like, yeah, I just want to put that in perspective. Like they like the Ottoman Empire. They didn't teach nothing about that over here. Oh, like growing up in school, you you really learn about the fa- the the history of the country you're living in. It's really like that over here. So like in America, we you know just great American stuff. But yes, the Ottoman Empire. Uh, I know the Ottoman Empire for being Turkish, um, and I know, you know, to my knowledge, damn, like 400, 400 years, I think, 400 years, it was ruled, From mid- which obviously sucks, then they throw on, you know, religion and everything that comes with it like that, but we're going to get to that. Well, they might get to what they sell, but... 18th century to the early 20th century. See, mid-15th to 20th. A century is 100 years. So, see, that's 500 years right there. I said 400. I was, I was actually wrong. Two. The name Kosovo derives from the name of a place in Serbia, meaning field of blackbirds. Uh, field of blackbirds. Uh, I have no, no recollection of, recollection of that. I do know Kosovo, Kosovo is the way we're supposed to be saying. I do know Kosovo is the Serbian way of saying it. Uh, yeah. Three, Kosovo unilaterally declared itself independent from Serbia on the 17th of February, 2008. Right. So why, why don't you change the name? You know, stuff like that goes through my head. Uh, I, I did know this fact, obviously, uh, because of my situation, but, you know, stuff like that. It's like, hey, since, since that happened, who changes the name, you know? However, Serbia contested and claimed that the independence of Kosovo is illegal. On the 22nd... Really? Really? Come on. In of July 2010, the internet... The 22nd of July, 2010. That's real close to my uh, birthday. My birthday is in July. National Court of Justice, ICJ, decided that the independence of Kosovo from Serbia is legal and it did not violate any applicable rule of international law. Four, At all. more than 110 countries recognize Kosovo as an independent country. However, a bunch of countries including Serbia, Russia, and some EU countries still do not recognize Kosovo as an independent country for that matter. That's messed up. Come on. Why can't we all recognize it as an independent country? Come on, y'all. Five, due to its geographical location, it serves as an important link between Central and Southern Europe, the Black Sea and the Adriatic Sea. Six, it is one. That's cool. Black Sea and Adriatic Sea. I don't think I ever heard of the Adriatic Sea. I heard of the Black Sea, but I never heard of the Adriatic. I need to learn my. All I know is the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> For real. It is one of the youngest countries. One of the youngest countries in the world to have attained independence. The newborn monument in downtown Pristina is painted every year in different styles. South Sudan. Cool, cool, cool. That's nice. Sudan is the youngest of the lot after attaining independence in July 2011. Wow, wow, that's beautiful. They gained independence just now in 2011? Wow, that was nine years ago. I see exactly what I'm saying. But shout out to South uh, Sudan. Like, for real, you know, Africa, the motherland of us all. Wow, that, that's deep. I didn't even know that. Seven. The mag- see stuff like that. We don't learn over here. Majority of the country. It takes things like this, like me having to click on a YouTube video and learn it, or you know me going out of my my way to read a book. You know, when you want to learn something, you have to want to learn it. Like you need to go for it. It's like anything in life. You want to do it, go for it. Do it. Make it happen. So, yeah. Number seven. Country's population is Albanian, and most of the population lives under the poverty line. Eight. Of course, it's mostly Albanian. What did you expect it to be? 
Kosovo, 10,887 square kilometers, is the smallest country in the Balkans and... That's a fact. Look how small it is compared, you feel me? Even though it really is supposed to be, it is connected to Albania. It is all, it, it's, it is all one. It says it's the size of Jamaica. Okay, Jamaica's the same size. I got to go to Jamaica, too. For real. For real, I really got to go to Jamaica, you know. Me being of Caribbean descent, too. I need some of that. I, I, I really need to go to Jamaica. And it is about the size of Jamaica. Ten. Gotta bring my family out there, too. 1,991 square kilometers. Or Lebanon, 10,400 square kilometers. Nine. Lebanon. Mount Jaravica, Aravica, at 2,656 meters, is the highest point in the country. And the lowest point is White Drin, 297 meters. 10. I want to climb the mountains. That'd probably be a good-ass workout. <laughs> Limestone caves are abundant and are found in several parts of the country. The Marble Cave, a karst limestone cave in Kosovo, is a famous tourist destination in the... Wow, this is cool right here. This is cool right here. This is cool and scary at the same time, though. I'm not going to lie, because me, fun fact, I can't swim. I almost drowned like twice, so water freaks me out. Country. The cave was found by a villager in 1966. Oh, really? It was found by a villager in 1966. That's not too long ago, 50-something years. 11. About 40% of the country is covered by forest. The That's beautiful. 40% covered by forest, a lot of trees, a lot of oxygen, fresh air. Oh, I know the air. Oh, yeah. Of course, uh, due to my ties, I've been told the air over there is different, like, from over here. so much fresher and cleaner, non-polluted. Love it. The majority of the trees in the forest are oak. I'm pretty sure it's like that in uh, other countries, too. It just haven't been to. And pines and more green is more good <laughs> and most of the forests are located in southwestern Kosovo 12 Serbian and Albanian are the official languages of Kosovo 13 the what about English come on yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's sign up uh, comp you know what comment in in the comments let a comment be known what would y'all rather it be? Albanian and Serbian or Albanian and English? Hey. Let me know what, what y'all think. Cause, Majority. Because I, I, would, I would like to know Albanian and English. No disrespect to the Serbian language at all. Because I'm not going to lie, there is a lot of... There is a lot of Serbs over here in the uh, U.S. But honestly, I don't know where they be at. I be think I think they be hiding because like they don't be outside like that. It'd be a lot of like a lot of Albanians and obviously making it be known. Like I personally haven't come in contact with a Serbian in my life. Well, one, only one, just one, one time in my life. That's it. Other than that, only ones I I see like is on like TV, the NBA, you know, basketball. That's it of the people of the country are Muslims. Muslims, yes, which goes back to what? The Ottoman Empire, correct? Because, because before that, weren't you guys uh, like Orthodox? It, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. But you know when, when people come, they force things on you. Whether you want it or not, then that becomes a tradition and a part of the culture. So now it's perceived as Muslims. But somebody's great 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 grandparent or just great 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 grandparent probably was a orthodox christian i have someone in uh my family he should go uh, uh his name is john but he's like a he's an og he's like a he's not he lived in like during the time when the country was still 
uh, Christian. So it's like, and you see the difference in names too, from this to that to that, to like Quaslin, all of that, you know, it goes. More than half of the population lives in rural areas. 14, more than half of the country's land is agricultural. Wow. 15, in 2009, Kosovo joined the IMF and World Bank. Joined the IMF and World Bank. I do not know what that is at all, but I like banks because they give out money. I just wish they gave it out for free. <laughs> 16. In 1874, the first railway line through Kosovo was opened. 17. Wow, that's a cool fact. The Kosovo War happened between 1998 and 1999, and it became the reason for the death of some 10,000 people. Oh man, that's a video of its own right there. Uh, the wall, 8899. Woo. That's a. That could be a whole. That could be a whole documentary for real. If you want to get there, if y'all, if. Oh man. Man, those scars last forever. Some ten thousand. You got to put that ten thousand times ten to a hundred thousand only because it emotionally and physically scarred people, mentally, forever. For generations lasting, you, you understand? But well, let's keep going on positive note. Kosovo, formerly a province of Serbia, had a majority of Muslim Albanians. However, the area was sacred to the Serbs, and the president of Serbia refused to recognize the rights of the majority and instead wanted to replace the Albanian culture and language with Serbian institutions. What? That doesn't even make sense. This led to the war. 18. By the end of 1999, some 1.5 million ethnic Albanians fled Kosovo in search of better living conditions elsewhere. 19. Bill Clinton, the former president of the United States, visited Kosovo on November 23, 1999. Bill Clinton. I'm telling you, if you're Albanian and your name is Bill, your first name is Bill, it's definitely because of Bill Clinton. I'm not going to lie. I love this duel. I'm not even gonna lie. Shout out to that statue they got of him too. Over there, sure. I'm telling you straight up too. Yeah, I love him more than we we love him. Sure. We all, he was over here in America. I was a little kid when he was, when this was going on though. I was I was a little boy. But um, even when he was in the office, I knew I knew of him, but you know, I was a kid, I wasn't caring about the president, but yeah, Bill Clinton right there. Interestingly, there is a statue of Bill Clinton. There we go. That's the statue I was talking about. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> Clinton in Kosovo. 20. Tony Blair as a national hero in Kosovo. He Who the hell is Tony Blair? Well, I'm about to find out now. He definitely not shipped off. He helped save the suffering people during the war that took place between 1998 and 1999. Wow, um, let me know, y'all. Um, is this a true fact about Tony Blair? If so, applaud. You know, uh, if so, and if, you know, it's actual factual and got some documentation on that, then that's cool. Mr. Tony Blair never heard of him to this day. To show gratitude towards this great leader, an Albanian couple has named their child Tony Blur in his honor. Oh, wow. Honor. <laughs> there are a few more children in Kosovo that followed suit. 21. NATO. Hey, any Tony, Tony Blurs that's uh, subscribers or watching this video, let me know. If you know someone with that name, let me know. I wonder if that hype is real. Helped stop the Kosovo War. This is one of the successful examples of Western intervention in the history of the world. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's big. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Look over there. That's the Romanian flag on that truck. Shout out to Romania. <laughs> Peace in the region was achieved with the help of three months of military intervention by NATO beginning in March 1999. 22. More than 70% of the country's population is under the age of 35 which makes it the youngest country in all of Europe. 20 the youngest country in all of Europe. Okay. 
53. The median age of the people of Kosovo is 29.1 years. 24. Kosovo does not provide citizenship by birth. The child gets citizenship of the country when at least one of their parent is a citizen of Kosovo. Oh, interesting. 25. After Moldova, the people of Kosovo are the second poorest in Europe. In 2016, their damn. per capita G Moldova. Oh man, damn. I mean, Moldova is the poorest. I'm not. I, I believe I did hear of Moldova, but like I don't know about the culture. I don't. I don't know how the flag looks, the language, or anything. I actually would like to look into it. Shout out to y'all. Uh, I hope you know. Hope y'all doing all right. EDP was ten thousand dollars. Kosovo became both UEFA and FIFA member in twenty sixteen. The country. 2016. Country scored their first goal in their first match played in Finland that same year. Mother Teresa went 18. Mother Teresa, big shout out to her, man. She now Mother Teresa is probably the one of the first Albanians I ever knew without knowing she was actually Albanian. I just know her as Mother Teresa, you know. I don't know her, her birth given name and all that, but I knew I knew Mother Teresa, like, everybody knows her, like, worldwide, like, what she did and what she has, has done, and it's just, like, then, me damn near as an adult, I, you know, I was like, wait, Mother Teresa, the same Mother Teresa, she happens to be, you know, shipped all just, like, the person that I'm married to, like, that is awesome, that's dope, you know, she's referenced a lot in America, and I know other all countries around the world, you know, just because of her will, her kind acts, and just, you know, her as a wholesome person. And that, that was a great fun fact. Lived in a small village of Letnica, Kosovo. It was here that in the Church of the Blessed Lady in Letnica that she decided to adopt a life of religious devotion. The Roman Catholic Cathedral in Pristina, Kosovo, is named in her honor. Wow. That's only right. That's only right. Kosovo, while being a Muslim dominant country, is very secular. While some women dress modestly and wear hijab, others wear Western clothes. Okay, that was that. That was the top 25 amazing facts about the show. Y'all gonna let me know what y'all think about it. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, that, that was pretty cool. That was, that was real cool. Um, I like it. Um, I felt, damn, this video is 23 minutes long. This has, this right here has to be one of my longest videos today. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I, I like it. I liked it a lot. Um, I wonder if they got some different ones too, like some one more, you know, more facts. Because of course, there's more facts about the country that that wasn't shed light on this. Maybe some like interesting ones or some some ones that are probably shocking as hell. But um. That was good. Let me know if y'all enjoyed it, watching it with me and seeing my reaction to it. Um, this might be a thing right here too. I'm, I'm gonna start mixing it up, Mr. International. You know, I'm about to just, I'm about to just start reacting to everything. And I'm, uh, I love this video. Um, hopefully, y'all do. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you like it, give it the thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Talk to me in the comments as y'all always do. I damn near see almost everything. And I try to respond to almost everything. If I responded to you before, you know. Because I do respond, you know. Um, and yeah, that's that. I'm, I'm feeling alright. I hope y'all having a lovely day at the time you're seeing this. So, um, you know, let me know what's next. Let me know what's next, y'all. For real, for real. And don't forget to check out the IG at The Cash Way. The Cash Way is the only way. I'm signing out, y'all. Have a blessed, lovely day. Peace.